determination of soil texture by the hydrometer method. This is the brief procedure of the practical. First, add 40 grams of air dried sieved soil into the beaker. Then add 100 milliliters of sodium hexametaphosphate into it. Leave the solution overnight for soaking. Next add 250 milliliters of distilled water into it. Then stir the solution well. Next add soil solution and sodium hexametaphosphate mixture into a 1000 milliliter measuring cylinder and volume it up to 1000 milliliter mark. Then cover the top of the cylinder by using a parafilm and invert it. Then you can allow the mixture to settle. After 40 seconds of settling time, you can take R1, the reading for sand. After 6 hours and 30 minutes of settling, you can take the second reading which is RA for clay. For the reference measurement, add 100 milliliters of sodium hexametaphosphate and leave the component overnight. Then add 250 milliliters of distilled water into it and stir it well also. Next, add stirred solution into 1000 milliliters measuring cylinder and volume it up to 1000 milliliter mark. Then check R0 value for calibration. Here we follow the calibration process to determine the accuracy of readings and the equipment. If the calibration reading is greater than zero, we have to subtract R0 from the hydrometer readings. If the calibration reading is less than zero, you have to add R0 to the hydrometer readings, which is as mentioned in this slide. To find the dry wet of the soil sample, we have to know the moisture content of the soil sample. Therefore, we use a subsample. Procedure As the initial step, you have to weigh out 40 grams of air dried soil, which was already passed through a 2 mm sieve. And Add it into a 500 milliliter beaker. Next, add 100 milliliters of sodium hexametaphosphate as the dispersing agent. And mix the content thoroughly. As well, Add another 100 milliliters of sodium hexametaphosphate solitarily into a separate beaker and leave them both stand overnight for soaking. Afterwards, add prepared sodium hexametaphosphate, which is the control solution, into a 1000 milliliter sedimentation cylinder. and top up with deionized water to the mark. Then carefully place the hydrometer into the cylinder and get the reading as R0 for calibration. Add 250 milliliters of deionized water into the beaker of soil solution and stir it well using a glass rod. Then transfer the dispersed sample into a sedimentation cylinder
and fill the cylinder with deionized water to the mark of 1000 milliliters. Next, cover the opening of the cylinder by using a parafilm. and mix the solution in the cylinder by inverting it. Here we follow this process to give a same settling time to all the particles in the solution. When all the soil material is suspended again, let the solution in the cylinder settle down and Start record the time. Remove the parafilm carefully without disturbing the sediment. Insert the hydrometer carefully into the suspension after 30 seconds and take a reading on 40th second. You have to record the hydrometer reading as R1. After taking the readings, remove the hydrometer carefully. And don't forget to rinse it with distilled water and wipe it with a dry tissue. Cover the opening of the cylinder by using a parafilm and mix the solution in the cylinder by inverting it. Next reading should be taken after 6 hours and 30 minutes of initiation of settling. Remove the parafilm carefully without disturbing the sediment. Reinsert the hydrometer carefully 10 seconds before the reading time to let the hydrometer establish in the solution and take a reading on time as R2. To find the dry wet of the soil sample, we have to know the moisture content of the soil sample. Therefore, we use a subsample. Wet 10 gram of the sieve soil sample and determine the gravimetric water content by oven drying it at 105 degrees Celsius. Calculations First, you have to calculate the moisture correction, which is denoted as Ms, by following the formula which is mentioned in the slide. Then, you can find the calibrated reading for sand, which is R sand, is equals to R1 minus R0. The calibrated reading for clay which is denoted as R clay, 
could be defined as R2 minus R0. Sand, clay and silt percentages are also can be determined by following the formulas given in the slide.